Hello, today I'm going to show you guys how to synchronize this MS1 wireless joystick to the switch. Um, this is a wireless joystick, but it's not a Bluetooth joystick. It uses a radio frequency, so you have to use this dongle um, to connect to your um, switch docking station, and then you have to put batteries in here, and then that's how uh, this wireless device communicates. But uh, before you do that, um, the first step you want to do is make sure that your regular uh, controllers are working. So here's I am in the main menu. As I move left and right, I can do that. Then go down to here where you see next to settings, there's a controllers option. And press the A button to go into your controllers area. And notice that um, at the bottom it's seeing these two controllers. So the next step is um, you want to take this dongle and there's two USB ports on the side of your switch. So if you look on the side here, there's two um, two places that you can stick this thing in. Um, so go ahead and um, stick the dongle the right direction in there. And as soon as you stick it in, a few seconds later, give it about four, five, ten seconds, um, you'll notice that it found my USB dongle and I see another controller um, at the bottom. So that's a good sign. If you're not going to get that icon for some reason, just unplug, uh, wait a few seconds, two, three seconds, and then maybe try another hole for the USB port and stick it in and then wait uh, about five seconds and it should come right up. As long as that comes up, um, your controller should, should work if we can get it to sync. Um, if it doesn't come up, uh, we'll talk about that in a second, but let's assume it comes up. Next is uh, you want to go ahead and put this battery in. So I'm going to put one battery in and the second battery, I'm not going to slide all the way in yet. I'm going to hold it down like this because I want you guys to see the lights. There's four lights here uh, because if you got multiple controllers for play one and one and two and three, something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and now stick the battery in. It'll blink quickly and then it'll synchronize. Now I'm really close to my switch. If you're far away, it may take a few seconds. So it's best to get within two, three feet. Make sure it synchronizes. And once you've got a solid light, now this should uh, be working. So you can see I can now move up and down and push the back button and it's working uh, fine. Uh, another thing that you can do is you can go down to the find controllers area. You should see it here as well. If for some reason you do not see your controller and you're only getting flashing lights um, or even a solid light but it's not seeing it, just unplug this USB. Notice now it's gone. Um, the lights are flashing. As soon as I click the USB in, it'll take a few seconds. Okay, so it go ahead. It went ahead and it found it. But notice it's not working, even though it found it. It's because um, I was in this screen, and sometimes that happens. In fact, if I go back on this screen, you'll see here it's not found it yet. So if this is the condition where sometimes uh, plugging this in won't work. So you just have to unplug, wait one or two seconds, and then plug back in, and it should come right up. Okay, as soon as you see the icon. Now it's uh, working fine. So once you've got it connected, uh, you should be good to go from there on. You don't have to remove the USB a dongle, and it'll be fine. If you're getting um, the icon on the screen, uh, so it's finding the USB dongle, but this thing keeps flashing and it's not synchronizing, uh, there is a reset pin on the back of the controller. Um, if you stick a pin in there and you hold it down for about 7 to 10 seconds, it'll reset and then it should uh, take a couple seconds later and it should synchronize. So I hope that helps. Um, have a good day and let me know if you have any questions. Take care.